Chinese communists. Take a look at this. Nine in ten Americans now view China as a threat. This is up big time from just two years ago. Two thirds of Americans now view China negatively. That's also up pretty big, and the feelings are pretty much bipartisan. Almost all Republicans and most Democrats agree. At the trade war, human rights abuses, Chinese pollution, and now the coronavirus cover-up have dramatically darkened Americans' views. Our problem isn't with the Chinese people; it's with the Chinese regime. This is a war, and we need to fight to win, just like we did against the Soviet Union, and just like we did against radical Islam. Do you think America, including Democrats, have the stomach for this fight? We have to have the stomach for this fight, and I think we do, Jesse. I think it's very clear. This is a fight for freedom. Remember, this is、uh, the Chinese people are the innocent victims. This is about a totalitarian regime. Every bit as brutal, every bit as cold-blooded, every bit as tough as the Nazis in the 1930s. They've got to be confronted. Right now, we're in an information and economic war, and this is a hot war, as you just laid out. You know, in your opening monologue, you talked about New York City. Let's think about it for a second. New York was such a hot spot because of JFK, because of the travel coming in from China. The Chinese Communist Party knew in late December that they had human-to-human -human transmission and community spread. They hid it. The Chinese Communist Party knew it. They went around the world and vacuumed up all the PPE, knowing that they would need it, and later they could use it as leverage against countries. I think the Democratic Party, particularly the Bernie people, the economic nationalist, the labor union, the working class people, particularly in the Upper Midwest, that are old school, hardcore labor Democrats, understand what the Chinese Communist Party has done with the slave labor in China. This is about the freedom of the Chinese people. We have to confront it. We don't have a choice. This is this is this generation's call to destiny. We have to confront this, and we have to beat it. Look, remember, at, we had a place in the in the Cold War was about rapprochement, détente, getting along with them, and, and Ronald Reagan came along and said, "Hey, how about this? We win, they lose." That's the attitude that we've got to、yeah. take today, and I think you're seeing it. That Pew that Pew research, Jesse. Was shocking, and I tell you who it shocked the most:、yeah. the totalitarian dictators, the gangsters in Beijing. See the American people coming together. This is what's going to unite us. This is the new fight for freedom, to free the Chinese people, to break the firewall. Once they get their freedom, they're going to overthrow this dictatorship. And I got to tell you, that's that's what's going to lead the world into peace and prosperity: is the removal of the Chinese Communist Party. Yeah, that's going to be tough to cleave the people away from the Chinese Communist Party. It's going to take a lot of work.、Um, so we have our work cut out for us. Steve, thanks very much, and, and thanks for talking about this on the、uh, on the radio. And you've been talking about it for years. And、uh, you know, let's just keep banging this drum because I think more and more people are starting to wake up. I really appreciate your insight.